How do, main man? How we doing, kid? How we doing? Come on then, come on then. How do? Charlie's parole hearing. Um, the outcome, like a lot of people predicted, uh, sadly, uh, not made enough progression. So firstly, my first criticism there is, how's he gonna make progression without help? You know, I said, if they knocked him back and said he needs to progress through the system to get to open conditions, they needed a plan. I wanna see that plan. Yeah, I'm gutted for the guy. Um, quite possibly signed his death warrant there. You know, you've got a guy 50 years, mostly in solitary, uh, on special units. When we talk about special units, right, it's, it's not the fact that they are special units, it's the fact there's not a lot of people on them. Not a lot of socialising with people. You know, at Wakey, uh, a lot of isolation, he spent a long time there. The guy is institutionalised. Um, how many people do you think get out of prison every day? who can't cope, you know, I've met lads who've been in three years and struggle, six years struggle to settle back down in the community. What does progressing mean? Well, from the prison service point of view, the psychologist and everyone else, I would suggest that that means uh, his risk come down. He'll go from high secure estate, where he is now, uh, Woodhill, Milton Keynes, to maybe a Cat B, Cat C, Cat D, open conditions, it's not going to happen, you know. Um, the guy's a clever guy, but he doesn't have the social, he doesn't have the social skills now. He probably won't have the tolerance. His biggest problem is going to be off the bat. Who wants Charles Salvador, formerly known as Charles Bronson, at their prison? Yeah? And where are you going to put him? You cannot put that lad on a normal wing in a normal prison. He won't cope. Uh, as people have said, no doubt someone would be having a pop. He'd get wound up, he'd end up down the block. And then it's back to square one. You know, they need something in place to say somebody needs to progress you need to have a specific plan the prison service criminal justice service politicians you know they can make sure he stays in prison forever that he dies in prison we let far worse out every day it's definitely in the last six months i think it's in the last three months a parole board somewhere let somebody go a rapist who got out and raped and murdered Paedophiles let go every day. We're letting people who have been in for acts of terror. People say they're rehabilitated. You're not rehabilitating anyone in prison. You know, there's no specific coursework for sex offenders or terrorism. Yeah, we do very little. There's plenty of people, people with more knowledge out there who've looked at these specifics. Yeah, and we're not doing anything. We're letting people go who are a risk letting people go who won't manage, don't have the skills. This guy's best chance, Charlie's best chance was at home with his mum. What I am hoping right now is that someone has sat him down before this outcome, before his parole hearing, you know, someone he trusts, friends or whatever, kept his feet firmly on the ground. Listen, Charlie, you've been in a long time. Um, you know, you have been problematic. You're still in the similar or same conditions you've been kept in all the time you've been in prison. Chances of getting out are pretty much zero. Because what I would hate is for him to kick off. Do something where they can slam him, throw the book at him, and that's it. Never see the light of day. As it is now, I, I honestly believe that he'll never see the light of day. Um, it's just going to be very problematic. What, what do you do with someone like him? You know, you take intense therapy, a lot of work. 
you need some really good staff that he could engage with. Although there's still decent staff in the prison service, you know, they're scattered up about few and far between. Do they intend moving him to different establishments? Do, do they leave him at Woodhill and progress him? I, I don't see how it works. There's no plan, no nothing. Just he's been knocked back. What the psychologist, they've all said what we expected to say. You know, he's not ready. He's not made enough progress. What progress the prison service made with him? Eh? What have they done with him? They just moved him about. Yeah? There's been a lot of dangerous people inside. People who've killed and the like, like I've said before, who've got out of prison. Everyone who leaves prison is a risk. Not being able to use a mobile phone or a banking app or something else doesn't mean you shouldn't be let out. I hope people rally around him now. Some of you might find it hard to believe that, you know, ex-prison officer and that. The thing that upsets me about people like this is, you know, uh, the prison system, which I was part of, was very brutal. People fought back against it. Uh, I've met enough people who went over tariff, uh, missed the, the first release date or whatever, because they refused to maybe go guilty on something they've been set up for, a crime they haven't committed. I've met plenty of them. It does happen, believe me. Um, you know, they battered and brutalised people. And lots of them. But no one's holding Rand up. You know, no one is looking at that. The prison service, if you can't progress someone, it can't get somebody out who's done all that time, you know, they're, they're in the same place they've always been, then you can't just look at them and blame them for the fault. It's very frustrating. There is no rehabilitation, I've said that enough times. People can want to change, but you know, you've got to give them a chance. I don't see where to go from here. I, I, I don't see the first move, I, you know. It's just very frustrating. Somebody who's been part of that system, looking at it, looking where it is now, but also looking at the risk of other people who've been let out and committed horrendous crimes. You know, people who've, who've been a risk and have murdered, gone out to harm kids and the like. There's lots of them. Massive injustice. There's not a lot else I can say. I just don't see how they're gonna progress him. No plan in place, no plan of action, you know, just no, not ready. No, he's not made enough progress. No, he won't be able to cope. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, the young lady, my friend, who was at his parole hearing, I'm, I'm gonna record, do a recording with her. I'm gonna talk about the actual parole hearing. I did vlog it, but her insight is, is something else. You know, she's somebody who's not been involved in that system, never been to prison. So we'll get sort of an unbiased opinion of how she think it went. And I believe she writes to Charlie as well. Um, maybe get his view, his view on it. Stephen? Guys, the whole thing's very frustrating. I was talking to somebody yesterday about the system, uh, where we're at. I've been invited to go and speak some prison officers, believe it or not, I've never spoke in front of prison officers before. Uh, I'm not put off. I don't know how it'd go down, how it'd be received. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to be recruits, old staff, new staff. I know they want me to talk about mental health in the job and that. Uh, that's both, both sides of the door. But yeah, it's something I'm going to do. If I can fit it into my diary, work around work. Yeah, I'll speak to anyone, me, about the criminal justice system. It's broken and it's getting more broke by the day. Lado, Stephen, come here. Come here. Good lad. Thanks for coming. I'll see there.